Climate change is the most significant and challenging crisis the world has ever faced, bringing with it increased risk and uncertainty for all of us and the ecology of our planet. We're already seeing the effects of global warming worldwide, and failing to act now will result in far more devastating consequences. To avoid climate catastrophe, governments and businesses must act now to build sustainability solutions that secure our planet's future. Transportation is one of the largest contributors to worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. In our cities, it's responsible for declining air quality and adverse health effects, which disproportionately affect poorer communities. Lloyd's and the global insurance industry support customers in the transport sector by providing innovative insurance products and services for climate-positive innovations that aid decarbonisation and enable communities, businesses and economies to build greater climate resilience. Carbon emissions from the transport sector are a major contributor to climate change. To significantly reduce its impact, transportation needs to move towards electrification. Mile for mile, electric vehicles emit 70% fewer greenhouse gases than gasoline vehicles. This dramatic decrease is crucial for improving air quality and addressing climate change. One exciting innovation coming out of the transport sector is vehicle-to-grid technology, which involves energy stored in an electric vehicle's battery being pushed back to the grid. This helps boost the grid's energy supply at times of peak demand. Along with smart charging, it has the potential to transform the energy system as we know it. Lloyd's is a great partner for innovators in the electric vehicle and vehicle-to-grid uh, technology space for two principal reasons, I think. The first is that Lloyd's has always been uh, an innovator and has a history of innovation. Uh, we underwrote the first uh, motor risks, the first aircraft risks, the first satellite launch risks and indeed the first cyber risks uh, in the Lloyds market. But also because Lloyds is a marketplace and therefore we have convening power in bringing together both capital and expertise so that the best and brightest minds can think about how we can help address the risks that uh, electric vehicles and vehicle to grid technology uh, represent to our customers. Energy supplier Southern California Edison has transformed the use of electric vehicles since establishing its electric transportation department in 1991. They launched their first charge-ready pilot in 2014, a program that aimed to increase the availability of charging facilities for passenger electric vehicles. SCE initially deployed 1,250 charging stations within its service area and educated customers about the benefits of electric vehicles. And in 2020, they expanded the program to add around 38,000 new charges. Over the next five years, their programs will have directly contributed to the electrification of more than 550,000 vehicles throughout Southern California. Our vision at Southern California Edison is to accelerate the adoption of clean technologies. We are helping California confront climate change, achieve carbon neutrality, and we're doing it in a way that that clean energy transition is going to be affordable and equitable for all of our customers. That means that we need policies that help our customers who have lower incomes, that we're doing things like helping used electric vehicles, not just new electric vehicles, get into our customers' driveways. And also, we want to make sure that we're advancing infrastructure that's needed for electric transportation in disadvantaged communities all throughout our service area. The state of California has a goal of carbon neutrality by 2045, meaning that the electricity that we deliver to customers through the grid will be carbon free by that time. And what we've done at Southern California Edison is look at what is it going to take for us to achieve that goal. And that means by 2030, which is really not that far away, we need to have reduced 80% of the carbon emissions so that we are on track to achieve carbon neutrality in 20 we know that customers will adopt clean technology like electric vehicles when they feel like that choice is something that is benefiting them, benefiting their families and their businesses. 
We have to help customers see how electric vehicles can be the more affordable option, that they're fun to drive, that you know we can help customers get over concerns about things like range anxiety because there are enough chargers out in the community where they're working. We cannot force customers to adopt different technologies, certainly not electric vehicles. What we have to do instead is put the right incentives in place, to put the right pricing structure so that they're motivated to move to electric vehicles and that they can see that it can be less expensive for them to charge their car than to fill it up with gasoline. And we need to put the right incentives in place for customers at all different income levels so that they can afford and access electric vehicles. Insurance and the transport sector have always been closely related. And how we manage risk for EVs through innovation can make it cheaper and easier to choose electric. Not only will increasing the uptake of electric vehicles reduce harmful emissions, but it also has the potential to play an essential role in supporting the electrification of the entire grid. Insurers can increase investment in technology that help energy providers like SCE, vehicle manufacturers and individuals to use their vehicles not just as batteries that draw from the grid, but also as suppliers to the grid. The potential for the energy grid with more people using electric vehicles. It's important to understand that energy is a delicate balance of supply and demand. When people use more energy, providers are required to quickly and safely increase supply. For over a century, this has been achieved through the burning of fossil fuels, where it's easy to turn on and off or increase or decrease the energy produced. But renewables depend on the sun shining and the wind blowing. For example, peak energy usage during the day may not necessarily coincide with renewable energy production in the late afternoon. Electric vehicles can benefit the grid through vehicle grid integration technology. This is where we can send signals to EVs that are plugged in to charge when renewable energy is plentiful and less expensive, or defer charging when energy is scarce and more expensive. In the not too distant future, consumers and businesses will be able to sell energy stored in their vehicle batteries to the grid when demand is high and be able to charge more cheaply when demand is low. The power grid will evolve to integrate changes in how electricity is generated, stored and used, including by large scale adoption of electric vehicles and distributed energy resources. Reimagining the grid is SCE's vision for how the grid must change to support California's greenhouse gas reduction goals and the goal to be carbon free by 2045. Uh, we all have a shared ambition to get to net zero as quickly as possible. We know we need to decarbonize the global economy uh, and we need to do it um, at pace and at scale. And Lloyd's is interested in partnering with anybody who is developing new technologies in this space, and specifically uh, in the world of electric vehicles and vehicle-to-grid technology, uh, we think we have a, a, a role to play. What we know about renewable technologies, particularly wind and solar, is that they're reasonably unreliable. So it's important to harness uh, wind and solar to battery storage uh, technology. And one of the places where that's growing fastest is clearly in the world of electric vehicles. Uh, and if we can then turn electric vehicles into generators of electricity back to the grid and not just takers of electricity, so we have an ability to manage uh, the use of electricity much more efficiently uh, from renewable sources. We also have an opportunity to reduce the cost to vehicle owners because as suppliers of electricity to the grid, uh, they will be subsidizing their own uh, motoring costs. And if we can make an economic benefit uh, for the electrification of motor vehicles, uh, as well as increase the reliability of the use of renewable energy, uh, we can create a win-win here that gets us to net zero more quickly, uh, at a lower cost, uh, and at scale. Lloyd's and the global insurance industry can help by providing innovative products and services that enable businesses like SCE to build the solutions we need to achieve greater climate resilience and support the increased scale and speed of the transition to net zero. Join the reset 
at lloyds.com forward slash join the reset.